The Vatican holds diplomatic relations with about 180 countries worldwide. Most of them were represented Friday during the Pope's audience with accredited diplomats to the Holy See. Meeting inside the Sala Regia, Pope Francis delivered brief remarks on the work he shares with other countries to build lasting peace in the world. Desidero proprio che il dialogo tra noi aiuti a costruire ponti fra tutti gli uomini, così che ognuno possa trovare nell'altro non un nemico, non un concorrente, ma un fratello da accogliere e abbracciare. Ditching the red cape that covers his upper body, traditionally used for meetings with diplomats, Pope Francis encouraged dialogue between different religions to achieve peace. He said it was also important to reach out to non-believers and those in search of truth, but he added that God plays an important role in the process. Non si possono infatti costruire ponti tra gli uomini dimenticando Dio. Ma vale anche il contrario, non si possono vivere legami veri con Dio ignorando gli altri. The newly elected Pope explained how his namesake, St. Francis of Assisi, inspired him to look after the poor and those who are suffering, as well as the Church's role in protecting them. But he also gave a second explanation. Echoing the words of his predecessor, Benedict XVI, he spoke about spiritual poverty in the richer countries caused by individualism. Non vi può essere pace vera se ciascuno è la misura de, di se stesso, se ciascuno può rivendicare sempre solo il proprio diritto senza curarsi allo stesso tempo del bene degli altri, di tutti, a partire della natura che accomuna ogni essere umano su questa terra. During his nine-minute speech, he thanked the presence of Muslim leaders as well as those countries who do not have diplomatic ties with the Vatican, but still attended his inaugural mass. He closed off the meeting individually greeting each delegate and their spouses.